Hello Americans and other friends and subscribers around the world. We're back again, back out here gonna fire up the old forge here to find out a couple of knives. Let me get one going for old, actually that's the one I started for old Gene. It's coming. It's a coming, man, outdoor air. But, um, I thought I'd show, I've had a lot of, uh, a lot of people asking me about, uh, you know, using the char. Because I don't, I'm never, I don't watch them. Man, I should check out some more blacksmithing videos. I've watched a um, little bit of forging, but not a lot of it. And I don't know if, uh, I don't know of anybody else using, uh, you know, biochar um, for forging. So, I actually need to check that out to see if anybody else does, man. I love it. You know, I love it. I don't have to breathe as much, you know. And like I've said in the last few videos, I have started. And I'm actually going to score some more because I'm getting down on it. But my old buddy David gave me that bin full, so I started kind of mixing, uh, I'd say probably... Uh, um, eighth of a part, you know, just mixing a few chunks of coal in with my char. But I've had a lot of people asking me, you know, about it and stuff like that. What I do, man, of course, up here, um, you know, I've had some big fires and stuff. So we just go up to the, I got to, I'll just show it sometime, but I got a big old, um, you know, a couple of truckloads of, you know, char that I have in there. So I'm going to show you, uh, kind of what I do so you bring in you know a lot of times I'll bring in the lengths or whatever and I'll saw them up and then uh, to get it down to the you know I usually don't do this on my anvil but uh, just to show you so I'll take and chop a, maybe should I brought my east wing out here actually there you go so you get a chunk of it off here's actually another chunk that I did what I do, man, is you get a chunk of it off, and get rid of some of this here. <laughs> I just want to show you kind of what I do, and then uh, uh, take, you know, and you see the, uh, you know, the good, actually good wood here, and I'll use it to get it going, and then I take, man, I leave about a, oh, I don't know, about a half inch or so there, just kind of do it. Thing. So, man, I cut it down. You know, see about like that. And man, this stuff, uh, man, it's amazing. I'm telling you. Do this. I'll do, get it down to, you know, the slivers, kind of like this. You know, and this uh, starts to start your forge and stuff. You know, I don't know if it's the right way, or the wrong way, but it's my way. You know, and I just kind of kindle it up and. You know, like I said, man, I'm just an old, you know, I'm not one of them guys on Forged on Fire and, you know, don't claim to be no artist or nothing like that, man. I'm just an old country blacksmith is how, how I do things, so that's kind of what I'm showing. So then I'll do some more. So you see all the char, make sure you see it all. On there. Chunks like that, man, I'll go ahead and use. Even though I don't usually beat my hatchet against the. Oh, I did on the wood. And then this, man, I'll just use this just to get it. You know, get the fire going. Light that baby up. Got to show a. I can't see the, can't see, can see the dang forge over there. Oh, it's nice when this kitty's out filming them for me. She's in fixing us some breakfast. Light it up. You know, I'll let the paper get going a little bit. Then what I'm planning on pounding out, oh, and actually I want to show this other uh, uh, spike. You know, I got the ones, start pounding this one. These are the ones I'm making the uh, 
church keys. You know, this came, I've got, I don't know, eight or ten of them left over there. And I've sold the sold two of the church key knives. That's the one, you know, the square, square nails that I'm uh, using to make those. And then, um, which is Polly's son-in-law, Cody, friend of mine. Um, he actually scored this one. I got to get the whole story. But this one's thicker, you know, a lot thicker than that. So that one I'm going to make a knife out. Not as long. I'm not quite sure what I'll do with that one yet. But I'll be doing something. But uh, let's see what else. So then I'll give it a little air. Gotta give me that dang. Gotta get the dang hood over this, man. I got a hood that we might be able to use for this. A couple of knaves that I need to get. Get up there and get. I want to get me a dang hood and stuff for this thing. A little bit of air. Then once I get this, um, you know, get the fire going good, and then I've showed it in past videos and stuff, and then I'll grab a handful. You know, I was throwing the bigger chunks of coal in there, but I actually started smacking them with the hammer and breaking them down, just getting a little bit. That just helps speed up the process, especially on the, you know, the railroad spikes. Now the, at this point, really getting it going, I did throw those ones in there, but usually I wait to get the char. Like that piece there, you know, well, the ones I just showed you that I slivered. Normally I don't put them in there until I'm getting closer to, uh, you know, actually starting to do a little, you know, start heating them up is when I'll throw that stuff. And then not only that, you're turning your kindling you know, into char by that point, by the time that you throw the char and the coal in there, you got a good fire going. You got to get that base fire going first, so. There's the good stuff, man. Let's see, so then I'll pick that up, trim off the some of it, and get it fired up. So that's how I light up my forge. Like I said, might not be your way. Might not be the right way, but it's my way and you know, it works for me, man. I'm just an old country blacksmith. And that's how I that's how I do her. So we'll uh we will uh get this fire going and we'll do a little bit of pounding and show you that. out there doing the wood earlier found this uh there's an old wrench out there so 
end up beating the end of the wrench off. Good old, good old American steel end wrench. And uh, I get a lot of people loving the videos. I've been so busy making. Uh, I'm gonna come out here and pan out. Here do my blades for our carving knives and our. Well, there's the. Sorry about that. I tried to put this down so you could actually see. Like I said, I need to have Miss Kitty start filming these more, but then she don't, she don't much care for standing out here in the smoke. But, uh, I do so many videos of the, you know, the spikes that, uh, I want to get doing some, some other stuff like the Woodsman's Pal, Woodsman's, Woodsman's Pal. And uh, some other stuff like that. I know when I'm doing this, I should have done this. So. When I'm pounding the video, man, it does weird stuff. But uh, I get, I get a lot of, you know, a lot of people like the videos, but I just want to do different stuff. So that's when I seen that old wrench. I thought, well, man, I'll do that. I'll focus a little bit more on it. That one I actually, uh, normally I use a, uh, a tool I have, you know, for, and I heat it up and cut the thing off. That one I actually just hacked off, hacked the one end off with a, uh, it was a double end wrench. I ended up using a cutting wheel on that one. Normally I beat it off there, but I was just speeding up the process and all like that. My, a hundred times man I got stuff spread out all over you know I do this over here and then I got to go do the other parts over there just want to get this so I can show a little bit of something a little bit of something different let's see what this is gonna make it's just a little tiny like a little patch knife or something It'd be a good little little knife. You had a little sheath or something like that. It'd be kind of a cool little cool little one. Get your top where it starts curling. Just kind of beat it back down a little bit. I got it thinned out. I can start putting an edge on it. So there. Uh, now I just got to go work the. Work the edge a little bit, then I'll bring it back out, pound some more. Like I said, I gotta do that over on the other side and all that, but you'll be able to see that. Well, probably be on eBay after I get her done so you can check it out closer. Mostly, I just wanted to show you how I light my forge and a little bit because I'm getting a lot of, a lot of questions on the, uh, focus this up now, a lot of, uh, a lot of questions on the char you know so like i said i love it and i mix it a little bit i didn't end up showing that and i should have um of course once i got the forge lit it was time to go eat so i had to do that and get back down out here but i'm gonna get the um get that one done and uh probably pound out the deal there Keep pounding on that dang railroad spike. So we'll get that one done too. So that's about all uh I got for that video, man. I just wanted to show you, talk a little bit about the char. Man, if you've never tried it, if you have a problem, you know, I mean if you don't have a problem getting coal, then you know, hey. But man, I have a little bit of an issue getting coal up here in Idaho and especially in my area. So that's why I first just started using the char and now I mix it a little bit you know so other than that man time to get out there and pound some knives man give it a try good lord willing you know the actually before i do that uh 
the first stuff that I ever, before we got this, I started playing with. It was actually just sitting around campfires and I pound out little knives with just a regular hammer and, uh, you know, out, on, out camping and stuff and I made some little knives. They weren't all that pretty, but kind of starts giving you the idea because you can, you know, sit there and do that. And then the, another time before I got the forge is I used my dang air compressor and an air hose and rigged up a little tube and stuff and blew it into an outside fire in an old uh, uh, pan that I had, you know, and rigged it up and stuff. So, I mean, there's all kinds of ways, man, in that, that book. Or look at the videos, man. There's all kinds of homemade forges. You know, a lot of people using propane and stuff. So, get out there, man. Give it a try. I'll warn you, though, it's pretty addicting. <laughs> Watch you get into it. Good Lord willing, the cricks don't rise. Be back again tomorrow. Come here.